So friends, Tony here. In the previous video, I added in this uh, login and register link in the Blade Breeze Blade. So if I open the project, this wire navigate, and I also added in the Blade the live wire styles and live wire scripts to work this wire navigate. But I removed them, and right now it's not working. So if I click here, we have a reloading here, and I said you I. Now we need to have the live wire component inside this uh, welcome blade to work with this wire navigate without uh, passing the live wire styles and live wire scripts manually here in the welcome. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to talk about the components, and if you go to the live wire uh, essentials, here we have a component section. Components are the building blocks of your live wire application and they combine state and behavior to create reusable pieces of UI for your front end. Now, creating components, a live wire component is simply a PHP class that extends live wire component. And you can create component files by hand or using the following artisan command. So, PHP artisan make colon live wire and the name of the component. So let's open the VS Code and I'm going to open the terminal here. I have run the npm run dev, so I'm going to open a new one here and let's say php artisan make colon live wire and then the name of the component. So we can say, for example, I'm going to say a host navigation. Or you can use a uh, kebab case name so instead of something like this if you prefer you can say out dash navigation hit enter and congratulations you created your first live wire component let's clean this and let's close now after running this command the live wire will create two new files in your application the first will be the component class file which is inside the app directory and here we have the live wire directory in here we have now the out navigation class file for our component in the version 2 the live wire directory was inside the http but right now in version 3 we have inside the app okay and the second will be the component blade view which is inside the views live wire and here we have the out navigation inside the class component file we have this public function render which return the view the same thing we have also in the laravel controller so returning the view and passing here the path of the blade file in this case live wire dot out dash navigation and i see i have make a typo here but anyway now, if you don't like that, because I've preferred another way, so instead of out dash navigation, for example, you may use a namespace syntax. So let's clean this. You may use a namespace syntax or a dot notation to create your components in subdirectories. So what I mean is, instead of out navigation, like this, I want this. Uh, component to be inside the out directory and the name of the component to be navigation so for that i'm going to use a dot notation out dot navigation like this or you if you want you can use the namespace syntax so backslash backslash like this but i prefer the dot notation out dot navigation now hit enter and here we have the class file is going to be inside the app live wire out directory and the navigation is going to be the name of the file. The blade is going to be inside the live wire out directory also with the navigation blade name. Okay, so here now inside the live wire we have the out directory and here is the navigation blade which have this public function render and return the view. Now here we pass the component path so live wire dot out dot navigation okay and inside the views live wire we have out here out directory and the navigation blade now to render the component if i open the breeze live wire we saw in the previous video here 
is how we can render the live wire component. So using this live wire colon and passing the path. So using the dot notation the same when we create it. So I'm going to copy this here and open the VS Code in the welcome now. Here instead of the HTML, I'm going to close this and replace with this one. So if the route has login, say live wire now instead of welcome navigation i'm going to use the auth navigation okay so the component we created not welcome but just change this to be out and we are okay now if i open here the project and refresh we have enabled to find component out dot navigation and that's it because i have made the typo here so let's delete one more time this and open the terminal and create new one but just say auth dot navigation like this hit enter and now we are okay and if i open the browser yeah we don't have the error but we don't see anything here okay let's go in, in this uh, live wire auth navigation blade and here i'm going to replace this with the text just to say h1 and I'm going to say welcome for example save this we don't see here this one but yeah as you can see here is the welcome okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this navigation HTML we have in the breeze live wire so copy that and replace what we have in the navigation blade in our breeze blade with this one so I just paste the links instead of creating manually. And now if we see, if I refresh here, we have the login and register. And if I click the login now, as you can see now, immediately we go to login and we don't have that uh, reloading the same for register. So let's go back and let's refresh. Okay. Now, if I open the VS code again and let's navigate in this uh, class. So in the live wire out navigation here we have the render but we can because we have the same uh, name as the class here we can remove this and if i save that we don't have nothing but if i come here and refresh as you can see we have the login and register here live wire will use its own underlying render method which returns a view with the conventional name corresponding to your component okay so because we have the navigation class and the name of the blade also is navigation is going to work otherwise if you have a different uh, file to return here you can leave this render method and i leave all the way so now live wire components have uh, properties that store data and can be easily accessed within the components class and blade view so to add a property to LiveWire component, we need to declare a public property in your component class or here in the class. So let's say, for example, here, public. And let's say uh, just dollar sign name, which is going to be equal with, and I'm going to say code with Tony, like this. Now, if I save and let's open the navigation blade so in the live wire we have auth and navigation blade now components properties so the property name we have in the class are automatically made available to the components blade view and you can reference it using a standard blade syntax so to display for example the name we add it in the navigation class dollar sign name so i'm going to say up here let's say h1 and double curly braces use a dollar sign name and save if i come here now and refresh as you can see we have this code with tony up here and if i change in the navigation so code with tony dot 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 save come here and refresh we have the code with tony dot 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 here now in addition to access properties from the view we can pass data to the view from the render method the same we have added, for example, to Laravel controller. 
if I come here and let's copy this string and I'm going to remove now the name here and I'm going to say here with okay add an array and specify for example name and I'm going to pass the code with Tony and we have the same thing if I save come here and refresh we have the code with Tony without dot dot dots and if I type now dot 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 here save come here and refresh now we have the code with Tony dot 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 here okay friends that's it all about uh, this video how we can use the components in uh, Livewire and if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much